Hey everybody, this is the fourth here. And in this video, I will be covering three different plugins. And the reason I'm covering three in one video is because they're all different types of monitoring plugins, which means they monitor something within FL Studio. Now, the first of these plugins is the Fruity Big Clock. And what this is, is yeah, it's the same as this clock up here except it shows both display types at the same time. So at the top, you have your bar, beat, and tick display. And then below that, you have your minute, second, and centisecond display. You can also change between showing the beat here and showing the step here by clicking on this. So you'll see if I play the song, you know, it'll show the time as well as what bar and etc. I'm on. And you'll also see if I switch between this, it will swap between the beat and the step. So that's pretty much it for that plugin. You know, it can be useful for seeing how far into a song you are, uh, but really it's not fully necessary because you have this clock up here. And I don't really ever use the bar clock, and even if I did, I could just swap between it by, you know, clicking up here. But, you know, if you want to use that, it's there for you. Now, the next of these plugins is the Fruity dB meter, or the Fruity decibel meter. And you know, this is just a larger version of the different meters that are on these tracks. Except it can be used to record the level at any stage in the effects chain. So, you know, you might put it in the mixer track before the compressor to compare your levels uh, before and after the compressor. And it works the same way as other peak meters in FL Studio. So it will display the peaking value against you know, different decibel levels, and here's zero. And if you want to know what level you're peaking at exactly, you can play your sound, look up here, and hover over where the sound is peaking. So let's say it's peaking right here. That would be minus 13.5 decibels. Or if I play the song, I can, you know, search for different peaks. And it will hold the peak information. So I'll play it so you can see how it holds that. So you can see that bar, you know, stays around. Now if you want to reset that, you can just right click on this. And whenever you right click it, it'll go back down and be reset to the current peak. So there I was just right clicking a lot. Okay, and finally we have the Fruity Spectrum Man. And what this is, is a spectrum meter. So you have two different modes that it can work in. One shows a rolling graphic representation of the frequencies, uh, like this. And you can see, you know, the low end is down here, the high end is up here. And you could see the kicks as they were playing. And then you also have the more commonly used kind which shows, you know, the peaks across the frequency spectrum, uh, like this. Now you have a few different options while working with this, one of which is the stereo option. And this will show you the peaks of the independent stereo channels, so I'll enable that and you see it had red and blue. So that means that red is gonna be the left and blue is gonna be the right. Yeah. 
And you can see both of them were showing up on this graph now. Now, you also have the show peaks option, which it only works in this mode. Uh, if you turn it off, it won't hold those peak values. So you see how this, it has these lines that stay around after the peaks are gone. You can turn that off and those lines will go away. And then the third button option you have here is windowing. And what this does is just increases the accuracy of the display. Okay. Now below those you have two knobs. And they change how the information is displayed across the window here. So the first one is AMP. And that will change the variation between the loudest parts and the softest parts. So if I have it lower, there will be less variation. If I have it higher, there will be more. So you can watch as I move this around while the song is playing, it will change. Then I have the scale knob, which is the frequency scale. That changes how the lows and the highs are shown on this. So um, I'll play the song some more and you can see that. So you can see as I move this to the, as I move this to the right, the window focused more on the bass frequencies, and if I moved it to the left, it was more focused on the high frequencies. Now, the last thing you should know about this is that if you hover over the window, similar to the peak meter, it will show you what frequency you are hovering over. So if you see a peak at a certain frequency and maybe you want to get rid of it, you can hover over it, and up here in the tips bar, it'll show you you know, I'm at 409 hertz, so then you could go into your equalizer and make a cut at 409 hertz. But before I finish this video, I should mention that both of these plugins are somewhat obsolete now because of the Wave Candy plugin. Now, the Wave Candy has, you know, a peak meter and a spectrum meter that work in you know, a similar way, except they allow you more control and you can make them you know, much larger. So if you're gonna be monitoring your sound, especially if you're gonna be using a spectrum, uh, this style of spectrum, then I would definitely recommend you use Wave Candy. And I won't be covering Wave Candy in depth in this video, but I will have a separate video in the future where I do cover it in more depth. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. 
This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.